Hey there, thanks for watching. My name is Christiana and my channel is The Well-Behaved Wallet where my mission is to use my well-behaved wallet to help me love the life I have while building a life of my dreams. This video is going to be a sort of walkthrough of my previous week um, and then my planning for this week to come. Today will be Monday, April 22nd, the week of Monday, April 22nd. So I use my Plum Paper Planner for 2019. Um, and I am, there we go, <laughs> I am working on getting an overhead sort of shooting setup put together, but I don't have that yet. Um, so for that now, I'll just show you kind of the way that I do it like this, um, and then kind of go from there. I am a functional planner, so I don't go in for like the washi tape and the stickers and the decorations and that kind of stuff. Like that is great if that is your jam. That's just, it doesn't do it for me. Like my planner needs to work for my like goals and stuff. Like it just, it needs to work functionally more than anything. And I don't have time necessarily week by week to make it look pretty. It just needs to keep my appointments all together. This is the only planner that I use for my appointments. Um, I use a separate notebook for budgeting etc. So in this one, two, three, it's actually the fourth week of April. Um, yeah. So for this fourth week of April in the previous week, this is what I got up to so far. So, okay. So from the 15th, what I did, I worked normally, I did not have therapy. On, so on Monday, I just worked, did not have therapy on Tuesday. Um, I did teach my private student, And then at 6pm, then at 7pm, I met some of my friends from church for drinks and burgers at Fair Burger. Um, the next night, Wednesday, the 17th, I went to, um, I played in my orchestra concert. So that week was kind of big. Um, so I played that orchestra concert at 6, uh, the concert was at 8, and it got out around 9.30, um, and it was at the Fetus there, it was great, um, and I got to see my, my favorite violin teacher, so that was really exciting, um, the last concert I'll ever play with him, and it was a good concert, so I'm happy about that. Thursday, the 18th, I taught, um, I pri my, at the studio that I teach, I taught lessons at the studio that I teach, and this is all I work 9 to 5, um, in my day job, which is in marketing. Uh, then Friday, I took the day off, um, and this was kind of a little bit of a, like, I wish I had handled this better. Um, I needed to have, because I took Friday and Monday off, um, I needed to put in place a robust out-of-office plan. Um, and I had started it, there was a lot of other stuff going on, um, and I kind of was a little bit late getting that out. Um, instead of having it at the beginning of the day, I had it out by midday. Um, I was on and answering emails anyway, um, but I needed to send that out earlier and I didn't, so that was my own fault. So shame on me, slap my wrist. Um, so that was then that I logged off by noon. Um, the rest of that Friday, I kind of relaxed. I met a friend for a walk, which was good. Um, and then at 6 p.m., um, I played for the Good Friday service at um, Westside Presbyterian, which is a church by us. Um, and it's just, it's always such a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, service, the Tenebrae service, which is so Tenebrae means darkness and they sort of ex extinguish candles increasingly as the service goes on. It's just really neat. There's only one candle at the end and they walk the candle out and they, we sing a hymn and then they, they toll a bell, um, 33 times to represent the 33 years of Jesus Christ's life on earth. And then the light comes back into the sanctuary. So the, light, the lights walked back into the sanctuary. And the interesting thing is, and I felt so bad for the poor girl, um, because they, it's one of the, um, so they're the two male, like, boy acolytes extinguish the candles, and then one server takes the candle out. It was a girl this year, and she was wearing heels, and we could hear the heels on the stage, and then she heard it too. And then so I could see, like, she, like, just started to tiptoe, and the sanctuary is pretty big. Like, I would say it's a good... Um, I don't know, maybe tenth of a mile, maybe three hundred yards. It's big, so she like had to walk on her tiptoes all the way down the aisle and then bringing it back. She had to come back walking on her tiptoes. So she did a great job, though. They all did well, um, and the music director is just incredible to work with. And we work with professionals from the city, so that's always very exciting. So that was Friday. Saturday was exciting because I had booked a mini vacation down to Cape May, which I'd never been to. Um, so I booked the hotel in advance. Um, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. I was trying to moderate my expectations, but I got down there. We check-in was at three. 
and the exterior was kind of a little bit not so great, but the interior was great. And every room, was, it was just really, like, it was fun, it was clean, which is the most important thing. Um, every room had their own balcony and an ocean view because it was the first hotel after the, um, the street. So it was really a neat setup and I was really pleased. I got a good deal on Expedia and a really, really great time. So I checked in, we kind of took some time, um, went and ate dinner, um, and then came back to the room and just relaxed. Um, Sunday, Easter Sunday, we went to the morning service at church um, and then had brunch at a um, at a restaurant that we I'd reserved in advance like Easter brunch it was really really good like very smart casual um, refined ate so much like ate, ate my money's worth for sure it was a really good uh, vacation like really really nice um, so that kind of rounded out the week as far as my planning went um, so that was that. To kind of recap on what I had planned to do, my, my week focuses were, my week focuses, my week focus was clear, clean communication, process info, not personalities, and then to finish each task. And I think I did, I think I overestimated my capacity is just what happened. Um, so really being more disciplined, which leads me to this week where the number one um, item is disciplined work habits. So that goes right there. So bringing me into the plan for this week, uh, my week focus is disciplined work habits to be self-supporting in my actions as opposed to self-sabotaging because I don't know about you, but I have a really big tendency to sabotage myself, even if self-consciously, almost always self-consciously. Um, I'll just do things that I know, and, and like I think not having my office plan, out of office plan was self-sabotaging. So really being aware of that and stopping it, like stop it. <laughs> cut it out. Um, and then number three is do all you can do and then stop. If you can't do any more, don't do any more, but do everything you can first. So that's that. And my quote for the week is without strategy, execution is aimless. And without execution, strategy is useless. And that's from Morris Chang. So that, that's my focus and my quote of the week. Um, and I find these quotes, I just Google for them. Like I'll get them on like brainy quote or somewhere. Um, so that's where they come from. So today, Monday, I we got home from our Cape May vacation. It was really, really great. We set off at um, maybe nine o'clock, no, seven, eight o'clock, eight o'clock, and got in at 11. Um, and I taught my private student at 3 p.m., which was good because I took the day off. Um, taking a deep breath because I still ended up replying to text messages. I'm like, I don't know why I do that, but I did. Um, and then I kind of, I went to the gym, I worked out. Um, and that was my evening on Monday. So my plan for the rest of the week, tomorrow I have therapy, which I have to confirm. Um, and then I'm coming straight home after my work, after, nine to, after my nine to five job, I get to come straight home, which is gonna be great because the rest of the week's a bit of a big one. So I had committed to doing in the city. I kind of, I saw a call for volunteers and I was like, let me just see about it. Uh, and then I, the call came back up. They needed, especially needed string players. So I was like, okay, I guess that's me. And then I saw a third call and I was like, let me just do it. Um, because it's going to be actually an extra expense to get into the city each way. It's, um, each time I go in, it's 15 bucks to cross the bridge. And that's just getting in, let alone parking. And the performance and the place of rehearsal are downtown. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging to park. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it should be fun. Um, but I'm excited to play. Um, and see how it goes. Because <laughs> it's been a while since I've played in the city. It's volunteer. It's avocational. So we'll see the type of caliber like I heard one of their performances that, for this group and I'm like all right it's a little bit um I'd say rudimentary like they try they're trying so we try um that'll be fun so that's Wednesday Thursday Friday and the performance is Saturday so that's going into the city four times this week so that is 60 bucks just to get it so my hope in doing that and the reason why I'm doing it and why I'm, I'm budgeting for that extra expense is because I love playing and I want to look for more opportunities to play. Um, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Uh, we'll see if it works out. It's an experiment. If it doesn't work out, I don't have to do it again, but this is what I've committed to doing for now. We'll see how it works. So that is a plan, uh, performance on Saturday and then Sunday is uh, church at 10 a.m. <laughs> By then, I think I'll have earned a break, another break. I'll have earned that Sabbath rest. <laughs> I tell you, like, I look forward to my Sabbath nap like nothing. 
I earned that Sabbath nap. So that is my week for this week coming up. Um, I look forward to checking in on that next week. So we'll see how everything goes. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you will keep watching. Bye.